2023, APC opens up on Tinubu's chances of becoming a presidential candidate. Hello, wonderful people. Very well. Good to see you and to hear to send this wonderful message to you today with regards to what is going on currently in our nation, in our country, Nigeria. APC, the ruling party where we have the president um, from, is given and is opening up to opportunities and chances of Ashiwaji Bola Tinubu, you know, the chance of him becoming the president of, Amer of Nigeria, but will he get the ticket that is the main that's the main important thing and APC is opening up to him because whatever happens he needs to get a ticket first the all progressive congress apc on thursday opens up on the chances of ashiwaju ahmed bola Tinubu, national leader of the all progressive congress apc emerging as its presidential candidate in 2023 Ex-Deputy National Publicity Secretary of APC, Yekini Nabini, said Tinubu's chances are dependent on his alliance with party stakeholders from other zones in the country. Speaking with Daily Post, Nabini said, I don't know or I don't know or tell you how strong Tinubu's chances are because politics is all about alliance. It depends on who he's aligning with. And his, and his allies. A tree cannot make a forest, no matter how big you are. You can only be as strong and as strong as you, are, you can be in a particular state, but that does not translate to other states or other reality of people of other facet. APC is a big party and there are different people all over the party. He needs to form major alliances. However, politics is not about numbers. So I can't say how, how about anybody's chance. I cannot tell you about that. No matter the zone you are from, you still need to work with people from other zones because it's the people that count. We know politics, the numbers, very important. Meanwhile, former and, co and current spokesman of the State House of Assembly in the Southwest on Thursday threw their weight behind the projected presidential ambition of Tinubu, they made their stand known during the meeting in Ibadan, or your state capital, that Tinubu was their choice again and again, and they're standing with and by him. Mm -hmm. So my people, this is what is happening. Um, APC, there is um, a lot going on at the moment. Uh, like we've heard again and again, there is a gentleman agreement uh, why APC was being um, merged together. APC was not a party, mm -hmm. an original party that started on its own. No, APC started on the back of the fact that there were um, parties who felt coming together would strengthen them the more. Like they say, there is strength in numbers. And um, PDP at that time was the stronghold. So APC came together, coalition of other parties merged. And what did they do? After coming together, they saw that um, they can actually make this work. Yes, so Tinubu was one of those who came with his own party, CPC. Um, uh, Buhari at that time has his own party and other people as well. They all came together, merged to become what we call, what we know today as APC. On that merger, there were some discussions being said. Why Buhari was the presidential candidate for them, Ahmed Tinubu was supposed to be the vice president. But guess what? They told them from the start, it is a failed course. You cannot have a Muslim Muslim ticket. Nobody will vote for you. Those in the South will abandon you. And so they went back to the, to the, to the uh, board of strategy to look at how best can it work. Ahmed Bola Tinubu was the person who suggested Professor Yemi Osibanjo, looking at his archive, he's a professor, well-read, he's from the South, yes, he's a Christian, yes, he's a pastor, yes, from one of the biggest denominations in the Christian dome in Nigeria, yes. So, kind of, with other yastics, the list is endless, he ticked the boss. So he was then, they made the merger, approached him, and they came together to form what we call APC. Mm -hmm. Why Buhari was the presidential candidate? Professor Yemi Osibanjo became the vice president. That's why you see that Professor Yemi Osibanjo and Ashiwaji Tukbola Tinubu still have their alliance together. I mean, somebody who suggested to be the vice president of the country, you, you know. But 
the gentleman agreement there was after President Muhammad Buhari, the next person, according to what was agreed, not written in black and white, but spoken about, was Ahmed Ashiwaji Bola Tinubu. Then another man will be his vice president. But guess what? Life happened. Many waters have gone down the bridge. And, you know, like one thing they constantly tell us, change is a constant phenomenon. You cannot alter change. You see, 20 children cannot play together consistently for 20 years. What we call life, it does happen. Before you know it, 14 years down the line, even 10 years down the line, once auntie comes from um, America and say, oh, I want him or her to come since the mother has five children. Let me help by helping this one. That's, nine, that's remaining 19. Before you know, two get into the university. One, let me not speak bad of anyone among the 20. You know, one decides to go, okay, I'm not going to do conventional routes. I want to go and learn an apprenticeship. I want to go through the former, in, in former education. I want to learn a trade. One is taken to, probably they were in Kano. One is taken to, say, Lagos, to learn the art of carpentry. And because his uncle has this kind of shop, that they produce executive chairs, them tables, coffee tables, uh, would name it for not just anybody. I mean, for, for governors, for offices, for, you know, for decoration of hotels and the rest. So it's to learn under that, kind, that kind of excellence. So you can imagine, he has to now leave Kano to join his uncle's shop in mm -hmm. or his uncle's factory or business whatever um, uh, uh, conglomerate whatever it is you know in lagos and guess what is to stay there for another five to seven years to learn all the arts and craft yes and so life happened by 20 maybe one is getting married and so life just you know and they all just and later on thank god today for facebook and the rest so what are we driving at life as does happen in apc adam soshomole made apc national chairman we all saw what happened in 2020 june 23rd precisely adam soshomole was disbanded uh his office scrapped as we speak we now have critical working committee in apc no national working committee so i mean and him and uh, washiwaji bolatinubu great allies which would have been much more easier for him to secure the presidential ticket well like Life happened, like we said. Ashiwaji Bola Tinubu has been advised to go on and ally with others. Leave us a comment. Let's hear your thoughts. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get our latest news. God bless you. Bye for now.